Just down the hall in the House of Commons, the Conservative House leader Peter Van Loan apologized today for his bad temper yesterday. He swore at the opposition. Today, both sides are taking a step back, and as Shirley Engel reports, the whole thing has once again sparked calls for more decorum in Parliament. I do acknowledge that I did use a, an inappropriate word. I should not have done that, and I do apologize for that. A mea culpa after a very unparliamentary spat. A visibly angry Peter Van Loan crossed the floor yesterday after the Speaker ruled against the NDP House leader's request to have a vote on the massive budget bill thrown out. Tense and colourful words were exchanged with opposition leader Tom Mulcair. Tempers flaring so high, the defence minister intervened to lead Van Loan back to his side of the House. Minister McKay, are you going to apply for the bouncer job in the House of Commons? Let's just give this opportunity. What happened in the House is absolutely unacceptable and, and shouldn't be uh, condoned by anybody. And I'm sure the Speaker will be coming back with a ruling for everybody that will hopefully meet all of our satisfaction. While rare, the confrontation is pretty tame compared to the rowdy brawls in some other parliaments overseas. Still, it's another example of deteriorating decorum in Ottawa. MPs are not only trading partisan barbs in a carefully scripted question period, but also in members' statements beforehand, when they're given one minute to comment on matters of importance in their writings. For the Tories, one topic dominates. Canadians must be warned of the Grinch and his party's plan to try to steal Christmas by imposing a job-killing carbon tax. <laughs> And if you can't beat them, join them. A $36 billion car tax, the economy would be lost. All jobs would be lost. Even families would be lost. The Speaker can rule out of order personal attacks or clearly frivolous issues, but that rarely happens. Privately, some MPs have told their whips they don't want to use these statements to toe the party line. It all just makes voters feel increasingly alienated, says this expert. 80, 90 percent of the population that really is disengaged from the parties as institutions and want to see Parliament work as a national legislature rather than a football field for two political parties. Will the holiday break cool things off? If recent history is any indication, likely not. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.